Hey everyone, today's video is If You Like Everdale, these are five games to check out. If you're new to the channel, this is Two Sheep, One Wheat. My name is Chrissy. And I'm Nick. And if board games is something that you're into, like this video and subscribe to the channel. We've also added members where we play all our board games before we make videos on them. So if that interests you, the link is down in the description below. And a big thank you to everyone who has already become members on the channel. Okay, so we are doing five games that are similar to Everdell, but you don't have the same mechanics. Some some, some similar same, mechanics. Some same theme. Cute art, kind of. Just kind of games that, if you like Everdell. Yeah, which is a big video on this channel, yep. is our playthrough for Everdell, Everdell. Lots of people like that video, so we thought that we would give other options to Yeah, you Everdell. might like these games because yeah. they're, they're kind of similar in sort of ways. We'll explain them. We will. So our number one game, which I think we've already compared on the channel. We have, yeah. Is Wingspan. Because yeah. Wingspan follows very similar to Everdell as in a tableau builder slash worker placement kind of game. Kind of game, yeah. And it is a cute theme too. It is nature, which is birds, right? Um, yeah, we've already compared these two games. We both enjoy these games, both two different types of games, but also yeah. so similar. The engine, they're engine builders, yeah. right? Like this one more is an engine builder than Everdell, I'd say. Mm. But and Everdell is more of a worker placement. This is you're mm -hmm. just selecting to do one of three actions. Yep. And I mean, it's cute. It comes with eggs. But it, the artwork, the birds, the the little eggs, similar to the resources in Everdell. Yeah, right? and it comes with the um, the dice the bird tray. Bird feeder. The, yeah, bird the feeder. Dice tray. Yeah, exactly. Which is really cool. Yeah. And I think it's it's equally it looks good too. Like yeah. the big tree in Everdell. This comes with the bird feeder, the dice tray. Yeah. I wouldn't say this replaces Everdell. No. And I wouldn't say Everdell replaces this. Wingspan is a great game. It's. It's one you should check out. Yeah, for sure, if you haven't already. But if you like Everdell, chances are you probably will like Wingspan. That, and if you try Wingspan, you might have a favorite. Yeah. And check out our comparison video and see what I have to say about it. I'll yeah. link that down below. <laughs> so that was Ever, or that was that was Everdell. That was Wingspan. Number five. Yeah. You said our favorite. Should be number one then, shouldn't it? I don't know. <laughs> I, I like all these games. Yeah, well, obviously, like if, I don't think that we would include anything that we didn't like no. on a list. Like I think Unless it was games we don't the, like. In the whole list, I think my favorite was Wingspan. Yeah. So maybe we are starting off on a high. <laughs> I don't know. I like all the other ones, but Wingspan is probably my favorite. Yeah, out of the rest of the but list. But I don't know if it's Chrissy's favorite on the whole list here. Yeah, no, it's not. I do have a favorite, and it's probably the closest color-wise cutesiness. It should yeah. be our next one. Since you went with your favorite on the list, let's go with my favorite on the list. All right. Number two. It's newer. Creature Comforts. Um, I don't necessarily, I, I don't want to say that I don't like worker placement. I don't like someone beating me to the spot that I need because I have it built up in my head and planned out. And if you're going to go somewhere, because usually typical worker placements, if someone's already there, you can't go. Typical. Yeah. This one, not like that. This is a lot more of a family game. Um, less. Yes, yeah, it's, it's a lighter, lighter. <laughs> it is. Game. It is. But I, this one's probably my favorite on the list, and it's probably the closest cutesiness as you'll come to Everdell on the list. I think. Yeah, the cards are super cute. The board is super um, cute. Like the way that it works. Dice worker placement. Mm -hmm. um, you and are you collecting alter. some cards. Yeah, you can alter the dice too, which is what I like. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But, like, the card art is what really uh, makes this game, I think. Yeah. Like, and they already have, like, there's cards that have wing. There's a wingspan card. There is. They have board game there cards. There is an Everdell card in this game. I know. Right, so. It's pretty cute. It is pretty cute. And it's it's light, right? So mm -hmm. it's not a head-to-head. -head, it's not mean. No, like, it still takes 45 minutes. Like, it's still, like, a little oh, bit yeah. of a long, not a longer no. game, not... <laughs> How long did it take us to play Wingspan one time? Oh, too long. <laughs> but This one, not as long. <laughs> but it shouldn't. Normally, they don't take long. No. But, yeah, Creature Comforts is definitely cute. If you do like Everdell, mm -hmm. you will like Creature Comforts if you like lighter games. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, right. Yeah, this one's probably my favorite on the list. 
Usually we keep them for one and two. Yep. We got them off the list. Well, the other <laughs> ones are good too. Yeah, they're all good. But I, yeah, I probably wouldn't say no to any of these games. No, no, they're all good games. Yeah. All right, so that was Creature Comforts. Definitely check that one out too. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And if you get the deluxe version of this game, because there's a different, there's a, this was a Kickstarter. Yes, the Kickstarter edition yeah. for this one comes with all wooden pieces for resources. Yeah, which so is... So nice. And com like uh, containers for it and everything. <gasps> yeah. Yeah. So if you can find the the more deluxified version, it's nice. The retail version is just as good, cheaper. Yeah. Yep, I agree with that. Okay, um, the next one that I would probably say is closer to Everdale than the other two because they have a different style would be, drum roll, metal. This is also just as cute. Again, um, with the cute cards, there are cute, it's almost like water painted color yeah. uh, cards and the creatures on there are just so cute. If I were to get a tattoo, I'd get one from this game. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> I, I do like cute. the artwork. It's it's very distinctive mm -hmm. for it. Mm -hmm. Well, it's, it's very, it's very distinctive, but not the most distinctive artwork. Not on, on, this, on list. this list, no. which, is, which is saying something because, <laughs> but yeah, no, I really like this. It's quick. It is it's, it's quick. It's an interesting yeah. kind of collection tableau buildings that you're set collecting mm -hmm. basically. Mm -hmm. I really so, like it. Yeah. It is, it is light though. I find this is light. They're, I believe they are coming out with an, an expansion mm. for this one as well. Um, yeah. It doesn't have a, an otter on it. The front cover. I don't know. Yeah. I think it's an otter. <laughs> but I do like I do like that you're getting the creatures and the the plants. Yeah, I think it's really cool how you use your, your little markers right. to figure out what card that you're taking. Because you need to get food for the one kind of building on top of each other. Mm -hmm. So it, you create rows, which is which is nice. Yeah, um, I don't think it's too hard. Like I know, like a lot of games, there's just so much going on and whatnot. This one is thinky because of how you're taking the cards off of the board to fill up yours. No. Um, but yeah, I, I really like it. It's cute. It's fun. And the whole like little fireplace and whatnot gives you extra points at the end if you can get to them. And then there is some seasonal or like some, mm. what do they call it? Envelopes with extra cards to open at certain times, so like During challenges. The year, yeah, like challenges. Christmas what time. you what you do, right? So if there's a Christmas one, if you've yeah, got so many fall. things on one, right? Yeah. Which we just ignored and opened them all up and <laughs> because threw them all they're in. just so cute, we couldn't yeah. not. Plus, we did do a review on it, so like I had to open them. <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah, you just have to open. We them. we were looking in those envelopes, no matter what. <laughs> they're not like a campaign style. They're just to keep. New things yeah. being added in. Yeah, but we're obviously impatient. <laughs> Very. So that is metal. That is metal. Okay, should we go with the other different style or should we leave that for number one? I will leave that for number one. Okay, so the next game is also very cute. Um, it has little wooden pieces in it um, and definitely gives the style for Everdell. Yeah. Hiking through. So you're actually using workers to go through a trail. But there are um, lots of those wooden pieces with the cute creatures on them. There is. And all of the cards, the park cards. The park cards are very well oh, done. Oh, really the nice arts looking. from the parks. Mm-hmm. Right. So you're, you're basically going on a hike. You're a going hike. on a trail. Yeah. Well, not trail because it's not well, trails. Well, sorry, this, this isn't trails, this but is... it says hike trails right there <laughs> on the back of the box. I hike know, but they trails. make a game called trails as well. Yeah. So. <laughs> Don't get confused. Both both good, both and I think good. both could have sat on this list. Yeah. To be honest. But you're basically going on a path, mm -hmm. and you can only go one way, and you have to collect resources. And once you get to the end, you can buy park cards. Mm -hmm. And those park cards have points. Yeah, well, that's really what you're doing. And this is a then, very late game too. Yeah, mm -hmm. and then they, you also have objective cards saying trying to get certain types of of park cards yeah yeah exactly yeah right so it's light points. Mm -hmm. but the artwork it sets uh, up small on the table it's not very large it's no nope. it's nice and light but again you get the the nice art which i think this is game is kind of focusing around more on the everdell yeah but yeah just off of theme wise art or yeah. um art yeah but if you like everdell you probably will like parks yeah i would agree with that it's fun it's fun and it's nice to look at no, and it's got, this one has nice storage. Oh, yeah. No. It does. I know the resource tray is a tree trunk <laughs> or a branch or whatever, but it's cute. It is cute. So that was Parks. Um, now, the next game 
It has cute creatures on it. Oh, it's like a dice placement game or something. It's a or dice. Is it? It's a dice. It is a dice game. It's yeah. all a dice game. Um, very different style, but I think equally as cute. And I really wish that we could play this game more. Yeah, we need to play this game again. Whoa. Glow is super cute in its own way. All of the artwork and all the art yeah. style we'll, is we'll just turn, like we'll this. We'll turn it around so you can kind of there you, you go. See because it's hard to tell. It's black and white. Yeah. But but it is like all the dice are full of color. Um, some of the cards, like all the cards, have the uh, oh, what's it called the um, UV coating. The UV coating on yeah. it too, so like it glistens the, in just the right way. Um, ah, it's just it's really just so cute. stylistic. It's it's cool. Yeah. I love it. And like, like if, for a black and white game that uses symbols with color, mm -hmm. it really stands out. Mm -hmm. Like the whole board is black and white too, except the symbols on it that are on the dice so that you can travel through. Um, and you're basically, because it's dark, like I get it, it's glow, right? Yeah. You're bringing the light with you through the dark paths and wherever you go on the board. Yep. I just, yeah. And it's a really fun game. Um, but it's this is a heavy, another, not a heavy game, but it's another dice game game yeah right so each card will give you dice and you'll be rolling them and then you could re-roll and you're trying to get sets yeah to do actions mm -hmm. and which is nice too with this one because you can gain points throughout the game too but you can backtrack on the score track to gain i think it is what is it to switch your dice yeah to change uh, Ch change your die yeah which so, is really cool and 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 on top of this, there's two types of game modes in it. The board yeah, is got a double different double-sided board. Yeah. Kind of different, same game, but different kind of objectives and how to score points. Yeah. One, the other side is a boat, I think. One side is islands and the other side is tunnels. Yes. Yes. Yeah. So if I had to pick a game in the whole collection that had a certain style, like when you think about art for cards, this one is always first to come to mind. Uh -huh. Because it is so it's stylistic, different. it's so different. In this the is art. the only game that we have like this with this artwork. No. The cards, the way they they sh shine with the UV coating uh -huh. is just uh -huh. 100 really like the artwork of this game. It, uh -huh. it makes it, and if you like Everdell, you like this game. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah, like this is probably yeah. This is the most different game on this list, but it's strictly yeah it's such a good looking game too because it's so different and that's why it's on the list yeah we need to talk about it more yeah we do i know we've gotten a lot of questions i've actually gotten a couple of emails on this game from my review from it um and yeah a lot of people they're like oh my gosh i've never even seen that but yeah it's a really good game so definitely check that out if you can find it um we really recommend this one we recommend all of them we but this one's different <laughs> This one hits, hits close. <laughs> but anyways, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you get a chance to play some of these games on the list. Let us know what you think about them, if you did play them. And uh, we'll catch you next time.